Rumba Colombia. Rumba Colombia is Cuban in its origin and uh, out of a Congo tradition in Africa and was actually a form of entertainment amongst the dock workers in Havana uh, around the time of the 1850s, 1860s. Um, and it was uh, an expression of machismo because it was solely male dominated. Uh, women weren't allowed around the Roma Colombia. And uh, they would have cutting contests. Who was the best drummer? Who was the best singer? Who was the best dancer? And there was a lot of uh, what we term in Spanish called guaperia, uh, which is like you know, throwing your manhood on someone else in challenge, you know. And uh, it was originally formed and played on fish crates also, being that the dock workers didn't have the drums ready during their breaks, so they would use the fish crates. And, uh, and there's a dance to it that uh, part of it is used with two knives. And the cat trying, like, you know, going in and out of his fingers while he's dancing and, and doing movements with his body, that, like if he's going to stab himself, but he doesn't, you know. And it's a very dangerous dance, because if you miss or you slip, you, you cut your finger or you stab yourself. And there's a... There's a... Um, A, a form of it that's called a cesaria, <laughs> uh, relative to a cesarean. And you know, the cat's doing his dance, and then he'll lay down on the floor, and he'll start doing this with the knives, you know, and the people in the crowd be going, cesaria, cesaria. So, um, and it was really to prove how bad a man you are, you know. And that was uh, a lot of what the Rumba Colombia was about. And uh, it's a very fast-moving dance. And also the quinto is right on top of the dancer at all times, in all movements. Uh, so uh, it's still popular since the 1860s. And uh, it's used during the breaks. <laughs> Thank you. 